So in the previous video, we have seen how to navigate between multiple pages by introducing routes inside our application. So we defined these paths for each of these components in such a way that whenever we are navigating to these uh, pages, it is navigating by calling this component details. Okay. We had provided last time by invoking this get event method where we are passing the value one as ID, which is the hard coding part of the value. But what happens if this is the approach? If this is the approach, what will happen if you go to the application? If I provide slash one, it's navigating to the first event details. This is fine. But what if I'm providing slash two? Still, it is displaying the first event details. I want to display second event details, right? So this will not work because we are hard coding value over here. If you observe here, we are invoking get event method inside event hyphen details dot component dot ts, and we are passing one as a parameter. One is the ID. Okay. If you observe here. It is taking ID as a parameter, which is a number. So whenever we are invoking get event, only the first ID that is the first event will get called and that details will be displayed on our web page. Okay. Inside our routes, we are defining this path event slash colon ID. Here one will be passed and every time one is passed, first event is getting displayed. So how to handle this? In order to change this from hard coded value of one to id how how i can do let's see in this video so that we can achieve by making use of activated route service so let's introduce activated route service inside this component in such a way that if i'm navigating to some other event it should display the event details of that event not the first event always so let's see how we can apply it okay first let's import activated route let's import activated route from angular router at angular slash router okay now i have imported activated route it's time to inject this route inside our constructor we have already injected event service so that whatever the service we have provided inside event.service.ts is getting injected inside this constructor by creating a private variable. Similarly, let's create a private variable for route. Okay. With activated route service. So we have injected activated route service inside our constructor of event details component. Now we have to make use of this in order to pass dynamically the ID parameter for get event. So that we can achieve by making use of snapshot method, which is which is defined inside the activated route service. So, so let's use of the let's make use of the property snapshot as well as the params method where we can pass the ID as a parameter for it and invoke it. Okay. So let's change this. So I have to take this route which i have declared over here okay so this dot route dot we have snapshot method inside the activated route service so let's make use of snapshot method dot params here i have to pass the parameter the parameter in our case is here if you observe the parameter in our case is event slash colon id right so i have to pass that id over here Okay, so ID we are passing. So what will happen when we are making use of this method? So this ID will be replaced dynamically whenever we are providing inside our URL to some other ID. For example, I'm not passing hard coded value one over here. If I'm providing one, what will happen? Every time get event is called, one will pass as ID and first event only details will get displayed. No matter your you want to display second event or third event or fourth event doesn't matter every time the first event details get displayed so instead of that we are making use of snapshot server snapshot method of activated route service to pass this id dynamically okay so let's change our so let's save our changes and let's observe our web page okay so let me go to events first so this is our events page 
Now suppose I am passing slash one, then the first event details are getting displayed over here. Suppose if I pass slash two, then second event details are getting displayed over here. If I pass three, then third event details are getting displayed over here. So this is what we require. We don't want to display first event details every time whenever we want to display the event details because we want to see all these event details, right? Not only the first event, we want to see all these event details. So we are passing this parameter by making use of snapshot method of activated route service. So the next requirement in this case is, yes, we are passing this inside URL and we are navigating, that is fine, but that will not work in real time applications, right? We have to navigate to that particular event details whenever we are clicking any of these events. Suppose if I click first event, it should dis it should navigate to slash one and it should display first event details. If I navigate to game developer conf this event, then fourth slash four it should navigate and this details should be displayed on our web page. Let's see how we can implement this in our next next video by making use of route linking. Okay, we'll link the routes in such a way that on our HTML we'll provide so that whenever we are clicking off uh, clicking on any of these events it will display that particular event details by navigating to that particular slash id okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos